Hello YouTube world, it's Hey Keisha. I'm here to do another video for you guys and um, so I will be sharing my gift with you guys, um, my spiritual gifts with you guys so you understand exactly when I do my video now that I'm transforming from doing the regular vlogging and the makeup and the fashion thing because God is using me in he's placing me into a different dimension so just want you guys to get an understanding of me so you can at least trust my dreams stay tuned I have the gift of dreaming and this um i had it for quite a while but didn't know that i have that type of gift i've dreamt a lot of stuff and i've shared it way back when i was a kid things happen we just think it's just luck you're just lucky that it happens or it just happens because you know it just happens so you don't really think anything much of it until you started getting um, much more older. It happens. I've dreamt stuff like after I came to Canada, didn't really share it with anyone, just kept it to myself. Things happen and I'm like, whoa, I dreamt that. And if I tell someone, you know what, I dreamed this. I had that dream and it came through. They would not believe you. So after um, a while, I started thinking, you know what? Whenever I dream stuff, I'm going to have someone that I share it with. And I have this one, this girl that we were really close. We're still friends, but we're not as close as how we were. We were like best friends. And I like everything that I dream or anything that happens, I'll let her know. I'll share it with her. And there is this one particular time that I dreamt about this guy that we are mutual friend with and um he usually call either me or her or you know like every day at work or you know something he would keep in touch with us so i dreamt one night we had i think we had an argument and i dreamt one night or that night i don't remember it was a long time ago but i remember dreaming that um he got stopped by a cop and they were taking um his fingerprint but what they were using his finger take using to take the fingerprint was a metal just just a metal let's a plain metal thing that the police had in because he didn't have any fingerprint kit with him so he just grabbed some random stuff from his um car and it was a metal thing that he had so he put his thing thumb like his finger on it and he said i guess he said that when he's going to the when he gets to the office then he will transfer the fingerprint to whatever to see something and i got out of my dream and i remember i was talking to my friend i'm like you know i haven't heard from this person all day and she's like yeah neither me and i was telling her that i dreamt this and i'm like i hope it's just because i had something to eat late that night and we were talking about it and she's like you know you know he's always into trouble or and, you know like we were talking he's usually into trouble and he's trying to get himself out of those kind of stuff he's trying to ch change his life but there's stuff that he doesn't really say to me like he doesn't tell me certain things and i guess because he know that i'm a different type of person like certain conversation i don't really have and i don't want to know certain things that you're doing in your life because i don't want to um be I, I i don't want to know it because i just don't want to be the person that says no that's wrong or you know, I, I just don't want, I, they, my friends know that that's how I am. So anyways, about a day passed and I got a call and I got a call that this person has, this person is in jail and he has been incarcerated for fire harm. They found his fingerprint on a fire harm and I almost fall because I dreamt this couple days ago and I shared it with my friend. I called my girlfriend and I told her what happened and she also herself was freaking out because she's like, we were talking about this, you dreamt that. Most of the time my dream doesn't go exactly because it didn't say that his fingerprint was on a gun. It says that the police had used 
um, a metal whatever to do a fingerprint and it came positive both my friend and i we were the one that he used for i guess he wanted to use us as his shorty or something and you know we were the one that was more active going back and forth for him and stuff he said it's not his hmm. anyways i'm not gonna go through that just wanted you guys to know what my dream was and how it came to pass and the second dream that I had way later after this was I was dating this guy and we've been together. We were living together actually. And I remember um, this girl came to my house and she's like, okay, um, he's not taking care of his kids. So I'm leaving with this child with you. And it was a little baby boy. And I'm like, oh, that's strange. The morning I got and I'm like, do you, do you have a son? He goes, no. I said, I dreamt that a lady just came, a lady came to the house and she brought a baby boy and said, you're not taking care of the kid. And she's, and then he started getting upset and getting upset. Oh, he hates his friend because he talks too much and tell him anything and he keeps it as secret and then blur out everything and i found out my dream was correct and the funny thing is i told my girlfriend to at the time that i dreamt that and she suspect that he has a child but she didn't know what type of kid it was but she didn't want it to say anything to me because she wasn't sure herself and i told her my dream and i told her that i was going to speak to him about it yeah he basically blurted out that he really had a child and he actually thought his best friend told me about this when I only dreamt it. I dreamt that this lady brought the child. So it ended up that it was real because um, the, per the girl and I became friends, I would say, after that because I got in touch with her and we became, and she told me everything. We're not together anymore. That's one of the other things that I dreamt and I have been like the other day a few months ago I've been like trying to top into my purpose like I've been like God I want you to to align my life into my purpose I don't know what my gift is I believe everyone is born with a gift some people are born to become an actress naturally comedians they're just natural some people are born to sing naturally. They don't need any training, any vocals. They are naturally singers. Some people are born to like be a salesperson. They can sell you your, they can sell you your name. They can sell you, some people are just naturally. And I, I believe those are their gift that they were born with and that's how they're living out their purpose. So I'm like, God, I need to like live out my purpose because there's so many things that I've been doing that I'm not enjoying because those are not my purpose. Those are not my gift. And like sales, if I see anything about sales, I'm like, nah, uh, that's not for me. I hate selling. So I was driving this day and you know, I was just having this conversation with God and he brought me back to all these dreams i used to have and all the dreams that came to pass that people have seen themselves like i've talked to other people i've spoke to other people and they've seen that my dream come to pass my girlfriend she always asks me like keisha have you have you dreamt anything about me last night like if ever you dream anything let me know because she just feel like she just want to know ahead of time if there's anything into her future or if you know like there's something that she should um have her eyes open for i don't dream regularly lately I have i've been having a lot of dreams and i believe it's because now that i know what my purpose is and now that i'm like god well, I want you to use me and I want to be used by you. I want to be able to share stuff with people. I want to bring people to you. I want to, to help save lives and I want to be used by you. And you know, I've been like, so I've been having some dreams and I interpret it in my way. Sometimes I may interpret it. I tell the dream and if something happened, you know, it's similar to it. So you know exactly like, you know what? I've heard it before but it doesn't go exactly how it is but God has been using me and he's been visiting me and I guess because I'm building that relationship now with him because I've now started to take my Christian life much more seriously I started to pray more I start to like 
having devotion, like having time with God, like spending time with God more often now, worshiping more often now, um, just doing a lot more that I wasn't doing before. I guess God may be trying to top, been topping my shoulder, like I need to talk to you, we need to get close, you need to get close to me, I need to use you, but...